Deep Dive Gaming. Hello, people, and welcome back to Deep Dive Gaming. I'm the Mariner, and this is Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. In the last episode, we ended on a sort of sad note. Old Paul had been killed by Berman. So we have two quests to pursue now. Peace of mind and war is good for business. I'm going to do this one first, and it should be short, so I'm going to then talk to Jake. So let's head on over to Sunshine Tidings, where I believe Stodge and company are. All right, here we are at Sunshine Tidings. I'm not going to change the weather tonight because the rain sort of fits the mood. This is not a pleasant visit to Sunshine Tidings. Hey there. Oh, it's you. We've been trying to contact you. We were attacked by gunners. Uh, don't worry, we saw it coming. Managed to fend them off. Don't sugarcoat it, Stodge. We may have won, but they hit us bad. Ah, uh, yeah, we, uh, did lose a few. And the gunners, they took the old guy, Paul. We didn't even realize until after they'd gone. I know. Right, right, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Paul, uh, he was a good guy. Helped us out a lot. He became one of us. <sighs> and we'll miss him. Now, I imagine you got a lot to do, but I appreciate you checking in on us. Thanks. Huh. Not a bad day. All right, so now we're tasked with finding Paul's body. So that is down here near Hardware Town. Yep, you boys chose the wrong person to tangle with today. <laughs> Poor cola. I'm sorry. We can send Cola somewhere, so we'll send him to Sunshine Tidings. I'm sure the others will take care of him, or her. I forget right now. And that completes Peace of Mind. Let's go talk to Jake. No need to fill me in. Aiden's already been in contact. He's got me up to speed. But it was a lot of information to take in all at once. He, uh, also told me about old Paul. He died fighting for the Commonwealth. He's a hero in anyone's book. He helped build a settlement for folks he only just met. He gets captured trying to defend it, and then he dies insulting the gunner that took him. <laughs> yeah, he's a hero, all right. But, I suppose now we do know where the comm hub is, and there's Gunner's Plaza. We could take it back. I'm just not so sure this attack plan is the best way. I mean, a full-on assault? On the Gunner's headquarters? I don't even pull something like that off. And what do you suggest? Well, I don't know. It's just... I'm just not sure running in gung-ho is the right thing to do. We need an army. Yeah. Aiden said as much. Called it a strike force. <laughs> Could almost hear the glee in his voice as he said it. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying this attack plan is a bad idea, but if we assault their HQ, we're gonna have to kill a lot of gunners. I'm just not sure it's necessary. If you didn't want to kill them all, you could just hack the plaza's security systems? Huh? What are you talking about? You know, reprogram their internal defenses. 
maybe broadcast an evac order. If you did that, I bet a lot of them would just run away. <laughs> I almost forgot! You're a gunner technician! Of course you know about their systems! Would you be able to help? You mean, me? At the security? Yeah, it, it would be easy. As long as you could get me into the plaza. Hmm. If you could help us avoid an outright massacre, I think Lupe's hacking idea is worth pursuing. Even if only a handful of gunners run away, at least we gave them the option. What do you think, darling? Worth a try? I mean, letting some escape has got to be better than killing every last one of them. Escape? What do you mean? Not every gunner is a bad person. Sometimes it's convenient to forget that, but it's the truth. If we could offer some of them the chance to run away, I think we should. I don't want to slaughter. I just want the comm hub back. I think it's a great idea. Ah, <sighs> good. I'm glad to hear that. Although, you don't have to decide anything just yet. Just keep Lupe's plan in mind. Whatever you decide, if you're going to attack the plaza, you'll need to know its layout. Huh, that's a good point. Our chances of pulling this off would be a lot better if we all knew where everything was. I could make a rough sketch, but it would be missing a lot of detail. So, we need a detailed layout of the plaza. Hmm. You know, I think I've got an idea where we could get our hands on something like that. Hey, Lupe. How'd you like to meet the coolest cat in the Commonwealth? What? Um... I'm really more of a dog person? <laughs> hey, do you think you could escort Lupe to Diamond City? I think it's a safe bet if she explains to the Ron what we need, he'd be able to find a son that fits the bill. What makes you think that? If there's one good thing you could say about the Ron, it's that he could get results. If there are blueprints or building plans for the plaza out there, he'll be able to find them. Besides... I'd say he owes us one. Sure, I'll take her. Great. Just let her know when you're ready to head out. That is, if you don't mind going, of course. Oh, no, not at all. I've always wanted to visit Diamond City. All right. I think I'm coming around to this whole attack plan. We can make this work. But we could still do with a little extra help. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe you could check in with some of the friends you've made out there. After everything you've done for them, I'm sure they could spare a little manpower for our assault, but I'll leave that up to you. For now, I'll start getting things ready on my end. Stay safe out there, and don't worry. One way or another, we will get the comm hub back. Although... <laughs> a little nervous. I'm not really the fighting type, you know? So, kinda scary heading out there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Worst that could happen? Well, last time I tried going to Diamond City, I was captured by and then conscripted into the Gunners. So, yeah, you could say I'm a little anxious. Not just yet. I need a minute. Okay, no problem. I can wait. Alrighty, so this is what I was alluding to a little while back when I was talking about going around and figuring out how to get the maximum support out of each of the vanilla factions without betraying any of them. And so I'll talk about that a little bit here. First I'll show you this. Wars good for business. Optional request help from Institute. Request help from Brotherhood. Request help from Railroad. Request help from Minutemen. Request help from Nightingales. And request help from the CPD. So I've got the CPD handled, I've got the Nightingales handled, I've completed the quest lines for both of those factions from Sims Supplements 2. Minutemen, that one's easy. Maximum support for the level I'm going for is done by taking the castle. The railroad is very difficult to suss out. No one apparently has tried medium level support or friend level support from the railroad that I could find online. So. I'm going to have to guess, and what I've done is I have guessed that under Underground Undercover, I get to this stage, if I go past this stage by doing this, or this, or this, I betray one of the other factions. So this is as far as I can get in the railroad, and I'm hoping this will give me the level of support I'm hoping for. By finishing up... 
Blind Betrayal, we are now Paladin, and so should get the friend level of support from them. Minutemen, we've already covered that. I'm not going to bother with the Institute, because I'm not really eager to see them all shoot at each other, because in my mind canon, that's how that would go. So, I'm going to go around in the next episode, hiring everybody that I can, and then we'll take Lupe over to Duran, and that should kick off the next quest to actually take on Gunner's Plaza, which will probably be its own episode. So, I will leave you guys here. Until next time, check out my For Science series on YouTube. And check me out on Twitch, where I play more Sim Settlements 2, Monday through Wednesday, 7.30 Eastern Time. December is still Train Sim World 3 on Thursday nights. I will see you there, hopefully. For now, enjoy Fallout 4 with Sim Settlements 2. Bye-bye!